another Pelican Brewing Company. Uh, this is a tsunami. Um, it's a it's export, export stout. Stout. Seven percent alcohol by volume. Uh, Forty-five IBUs. Like every beer I've had from them is just yeah. wows me. Export style stout too. It's going to be a little stronger, richer, hardier kind of stout. It's just a another classification. It's like Irish stout, Imperial stout, mm -hmm. oatmeal stout, right? This is just another another style. Yeah. Um, of course, these guys are from uh, Tillamook, Oregon, on the coast there, where Tillamook cheese is made and everything. Let's give this a shot here. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Nice and dark. Yeah. Smells super, amazing. Yeah, Nose super just... dark, chocolatey looking. Hmm, almost smells like some hops. Yeah. In there. I, I don't think I've had a dark beer from these guys yet. It clears up just nice. 45 IBUs. It's almost like coffee black. Yeah, it is. It's a lot lighter on the tongue than I thought it would be. I was expecting more of the malty, heavy. Yeah. You know. Yeah, no sweetness or anything like that. No. It's it's malty. But it's very a lot of. A lot of just like a lightly roasted coffee. Yeah. Sort yeah. of flavor. Not super super heavy, but definitely like a. Like a light roasted coffee it's almost like a cup of coffee right hmm yeah i'm not so i'm not shocked that it's good so no absolutely seven percent <clears throat> by volume i mean yeah. that's like i don't know how much of that i even get out of it you know like the the alcohol is well masked in there yeah it is you can't really taste it a little bit of chocolatey kind of cocoa type that you would mm -hmm. expect out of those roasted grains but yeah, but you don't get that burnt kind of acrid. No, you know. Yeah, a lot of a bitterness lot of, of the grains. Yeah. You know, it's it's real smooth. A lot of these uh, beers, like they they do have that burnt kind of yeah. you know, essence to it. Yeah. So yeah, uh, real rich, <clears throat> full, rounded mm -hmm. sort of just yeah dark profile. Packs a punch. It's nice. Yeah. Um, I'm not, I'm not getting the hops anymore like I did at the very beginning. Of right, it, right, you know? right, 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 right. Those kind of go away, and it opens up and just shows a little more of those darker grains to mm -hmm. it. Not a whole lot of, like, caramel-type aspect to it, really. It's more of a, more of just like a roasted barley black patent malt. Yeah. Brown malt kind of, you know, character to mm -hmm. it. Yeah. God, this would be a nice little fucking here to a steak. And yeah, absolutely. Uh, I would love it with a ribeye or even yeah. something... Like ribeye has a lot of flavor, but you know you could do it with something like a New York <clears throat> that's just like more of a purist, medium rare, you know, meat. Oh beef, yeah. Beef flavor. Yeah. You know, where you'd like do a traditional char broil with it, and mm -hmm. um, just some steak butter over the top, and some yeah, some pepper or some you know crushed peppercorns or something would be fucking outstanding yeah. with this. Absolutely. If you did a pan sauce, obviously this would go straight oh, in there. Oh yeah. Pan sauce, yeah. um, be good with like uh, Brussels sprouts and shit, like baked. Fucking just kind of soak them in it. Like, bake it. how about yeah, like roasted winter vegetables or yeah, something? Oh, yeah. Where you took like some different kinds of squashes and turnip and rutabaga and things like that mm -hmm. and carrot and Carrots, roasted yep. it. And uh, so you had those good caramelized roasted vegetable flavors, and then oh yeah, um, you mm -hmm. serve that maybe with some, you know, some sort of like beef or uh, some kind of game or something, right? This a nice wild rice on the side, like mm -hmm. all those, especially wild rice, you know, it kind of have that nutty sort of earthy profile to right. it, you know, anything with like truffle oil or earthy yeah, mushrooms, truffles. wild mushrooms in the sauce or something. Yep. Yeah. Fucking uh, stuffed mushrooms or peppers would be good with this too. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, yeah. Flank steak would be good with it. Grilled mushroom. Yeah. Like oh yeah. A lot of these darker beers are good for sautéing, uh, you know, anything like caramelizing onions, mushrooms, uh, yeah. peppers. It'd be great you know. with like a, a good um, smoked flank steak, black bean chili oh, or something. Oh yeah, this absolutely. Would be fantastic in there. That would have been good with dinner tonight. Yep. 
Well, dude, this would be good to fucking actually to mix up with like a au jus or something. Like, yeah, it would. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking. Yeah, for your dip or your, oh, you know, damn, yeah. a nice like slow roasted pine yeah. rib or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. Looking good, dude. Fuck yeah. Another good job by these guys.